Hello YouTube, I want to show you these wire strippers. I've already tested them and played with them, so I can give you my opinion, what I believe is my honest opinion. I hope so, I hope I can be honest. We got these at Harbor Freight, they're not cheap. With a coupon, it was just under 20 bucks. So, they're, they're not for the lighthearted. But, after doing my garden tractor wiring, which wasn't a whole lot either, uh, I was fed up with these. I mean, these were good in their day. These are Klein. Or a copy of a Klein. Honestly, can't tell you. Well, I'd be lying to you if they was, but I just couldn't take it anymore. And I was using a needle nose vice grips to smash down the connectors. And I, I, just, I just had enough. Here's what I got, okay? We'll start out with the only fault that I found, which you can blame it on me. Okay, there is some chips down in here. You can see it. Because I cut a, I was cutting wire, I cut a, just a paper clip now. I'll do it again. If you're going to cut junk stuff, cut, if you buy a set of these or you have something similar, see how much cutter you got in there? Cut back here with your junk. You know, this is like three thirty seconds brazing rod. You cut, cut back here and ruin it here. Don't ruin it out there where you need it for something important. You know I'm going to keep doing that because I've already nicked them. And I could try to get a close-up shot. I got a white background back there hoping that'll show up. You know, there's some nicks in there. Uh, it shows for solid wire or stranded wire, okay? These will pull a hair out of your arm. I already did it. They close that tight out there, which is nice for... We'll just simulate with this. Bending copper wire. Let's just cut it again, copper wire. These are nice. Say you're wiring your outlets or something. You can bend your little loop. So it's nice for that. Okay, so I, I like that. Okay, we'll we'll strip a piece of wire for you. This is this is what came off that garden tractor. Is it orange? Is it red? Is it blue paint over orange? Uh, we determined this was 18. Okay, just to show you the difference. Okay, let me get these out. These I have to kind of go like this and turn it around, and then I'm. You know, which they work, but these are just so much easier. If it makes your job easier, makes your life happier. If we want stranded, it's 18 gauge. So we're going to go down and that's, you can see that. Hey, that wasn't much. Let me do it one more time. Let me go back. Start out fresh again. Let me go to 18. Yeah, that comes off pretty easy. One time I seen a little strand there. Okay, let's simulate the crimper. Simulate. We're going to do the crimper. I know this ain't the proper way. Let me get it in here. Might not be perfect. Let me show you. That was my knuckle, believe it or not. See that nice crimp that it makes? Oh, it wasn't flat. You're supposed to be kind of like that, but let's 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 try that again. Okay, let's let's cut it off. Let me pause and do a better one. We can do better than that. Okay, we're gonna try to crimp this flat. See how we got it in there? You get a lot of leverage with these. There, that's better. See that? How nice that is? It puts that little dimple in there. You go smash these with the vice grips, and I can show you. They don't look pretty when you're done. And I smashed them with the vice grips, and you know what happened? This plastic slid off. I can show you on a tractor when I did one. The plastic slid off because I flattened everything. Well, this kind of puts a dimple in it. If you know what I mean. 
So this is not really going to slide off of here. So that's a plus. So that's about it for that. I'll take you some pictures. I'll leave you one more thing. Here's where you put your screws in and chop them off. There's threads in there. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm not even going to give you my opinion on it. I have not found a screw yet to fit that. So I'm just assuming it'll work. Uh, a lot of them other ones had it. Strippers did. But, excuse me, nice pair of pliers. I wouldn't be using them all day for needing those pliers, but you're reaching somewhere to get a hold of the wire and pull on it to get a hold of it. I mean, it grabs really good. I mean, you can... Pretty good at smashing small stuff wire. I mean, it'll flatten like it won't flatten this, but it'll flatten this copper wire. Of course, you know it'll flatten it down so much. There you go. Not really a review. It's my opinion. What I think. I've been playing with them for probably an hour before I made the video. But for the money, and they're going to last me the rest of my life. I mean, I always tell people, that I'm going to have these. I don't do, I'm not an electrician, use them every day. They're, they're going to they're, they're gonna last me a long time. And they're never going to rust in my toolbox. I take care of stuff, you know, make sure to keep them coated. But there you go. We act about enough. We'll take a picture of the package and a picture of these. So thanks for watching. Oh, and I don't get paid to show these. This is my money bought these. I can show you the receipt. I always tell people that. Do you get paid? I've had people ask me, do you get paid to show them products? No, I don't. We had enough brought here.